On Monday morning, the sun rose over Boston. The sunlight glistened off the State House dome. In Hopkinton, runners laced up their shoes and set out on a 26.2 mile test of dedication and the human spirit. And then, in an instant, the day's beauty was shattered. A celebration became a tragedy. And so we come together to pray and mourn and measure our loss. But we also come together today to reclaim that state of grace to reaffirm that the spirit of this city is undaunted and the spirit of this country shall remain undimmed. The Cathedral of the Holy Cross has been a pillar of the community in Boston for over 150 years. The congregation has hosted many historic events, including the interfaith service from President Barack Obama after the Boston Marathon bombings of 2013. With all its history, it's incredible to think that no major renovations had taken place here until very recently. Renovations faithfully completed by the NECA IBEW Powering America team. In May of 2017, we closed the upstairs of this main cathedral space that we're in and began a, a two-year renovation process. From a, a system standpoint, uh, pretty much everything was new electrical system and the wiring, heating and cooling plumbing to fire and safety systems. There was a lot of coordination that went into the lighting. It is one of the more unique lighting setups that you'll see with the scene lighting. And everybody played a big part in making that happen. The pendant lights that you see in the gallery, they were the original light fixtures when they electrified the cathedral in the 1920s. But we were able to gut the wiring and the electrical in them, but preserve the fixtures themselves. The goal was to make everything seamless and upgrade everything, but without being noticeable. Initially you walk in, there's the wow factor. First thing you do is you just look up and you're in amazement of everything some of these old churches, specifically this one before this project, um, was very dark. And now with all the lighting upgrades that they've done, that the lights don't just stick out and stand out, but the beautiful architecture now stands out because of the lighting. Losing a historical value is very, very easy to do if you're not sensitive to it. And we had to sensitize ourselves to this because this is a remarkable building. And when you're trying to incorporate new infrastructure into an old existing building and make it disappear, you need some really good quality individuals. And McDonald, they have them. When I walked through the front door over here, there was stage and floor to sailing on a scale I had never seen in before. We had to figure out how to get wires from point A to point B. These columns over here is where we ran our wires the flooring under here, there's wires beneath us, you know. On top of it, here we have a marble floor. We had to make sure we got it right the first time. You can't rip up a marble floor. You have to work around all these pieces of art and all these statues. They put a lot of faith in you to get the job done and it's, it's good to know that they can, they can trust you with that. The $26 million renovation project was completed just in time for Palm Sunday services this year. And with 21 weekly masses and a 1,700 person capacity, the beauty in this space is seen and heard by thousands each and every week.
This was um, one of those projects where I always say to people, it's a legacy project. It's the project where when you retire, you'll look back and you'll think that was one of the greatest jobs that I've ever worked on. It was larger than anyone that worked on it. The work that McDonald did to improve their life safety and lighting and all the electrical systems there are just going to help protect that building for the future generations. You know, this cathedral is not just a spiritual home for, for all the Catholics who worship here, and, but it is this integral part of the neighborhood. It is uh, a beautiful space and sacred art that belongs to everybody. From South Boston, for Electric TV, I'm Dominic Giratano. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind-the-scenes extras and industry information.